What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Jurassic World Dominion in this video here again today. Now Jurassic World Dominion has already been of course expected to be a box office success given the history of the ip since its re-emergence in 2015 with jurassic world and how i think both of those recent movies have made over two billion dollars for universal combined maybe more and this third one the opening weekend projections right now over according to box office pro are stating that they are expecting it or predicting it to end up around 165 million between between that and somewhere in between that and 205 million so that of course would be a very good opening weekend i think that actually might be higher than the recent doctor strange movie that came out and i know there's already been talks of course about oh was this the end i've already come on here and talked about chris pratt's words mostly again that was just simple marketing because everybody else not everybody but certain people involved with this production have already come out and stated this is the end of the jurassic era the marketing behind it is kind of hyping up the end of the jurassic era i know certain cast members are going out of their way to talk about how this is very much so a finale and it is but i don't think it's the finale of the series in its entirety it doesn't seem like that's what it is what it seems like is that everybody who's been here for this latest dance this latest trilogy they're going to be done with what they're doing i'm not saying college revival won't come back or anything like that but it seems like there's going to be a time in between this and whatever they do in the future to map out another plan they're not going to go into this with the mentality that they had for those first three movies because again like i stated you can be someone who agrees that maybe the first trilogy is better than the jurassic world trilogy and that's fine but there's certain things that went on behind the scenes that are that are just objectively true about this one compared to the jurassic park trilogy this one had a cohesive plan in the sense that it had a clear start middle and end point they had they had an idea of what they wanted to do the original trilogy we got from 93 to 2001 that was just going off of the fly that was just writing as they went on and i feel like that is in a lot of ways is what started to make that that trilogy go off of the rails because of the fact that you had a set of characters in the first movie they're gone from the second movie you get like one third of them in the second movie then you get another one third or i guess two thirds at that point in the third movie but you know only one of them in specifically is on the island with the dinosaurs meanwhile you're with a whole bunch of another crew of supporting cast members so I think the inconsistencies there versus the consistencies here with the people that have always been brought back and now they're culminating with those big three legacy characters from the original trilogy and just the fact that the narrative going into Jurassic World and everything going on with Engine, all of that has been a lot more consistent this time around in the sense that you understand that they already know what their what story they're trying to take you how they're trying to take their story from the moment it started and where they're going to end up not saying that they had everything fleshed out but you know and you can feel it that they had a plan whereas with the original trilogy you can go back and do your all your research and see that there was very much so not a plan at all especially when considering how different the stories are in, e in each movie so when it comes to this box office projection that is something that makes me very happy because it means that at least if they take this break that they will be able to come back and say okay we can come back and there's going to be an audience that still wants to see more of these movies especially considering of course that that's just the opening weekend this movie in total is probably going to end up right around the 1 billion range if not more if it looks if it makes a little bit less than what those other two have that's fine it's still not going to be a death sentence to the series they're still going to come back and make another one many years later i hope i hope that this doesn't end up resulting in them saying oh well, let's not take that year that that year or four year break or five year break off uh, let's let's make another one immediately i hope we don't have anything like that I think we should have a decent break in between this movie and whatever happens in the future and then come back with a clear mapped out plan once again of uh, an outline or something telling us what we want to do with this new iteration the second iteration of that new iteration and a third one if you want to have a third one or if you want to come back and just make one more movie then close it out then just do that too i know a lot of people have also said they would like to see a tv series maybe that builds into the next movie i'm not against that if you're taking a break from the big screen in between dominion and whatever else you have planned i think it'd be a great way to carve that out 
through a little mini series or something that's like one or two seasons over on some streaming platform and then it bridges us into or builds into the final movie uh or not the final movie but you know the next set of movies we get which couldn't which would not be titled jurassic something i'd imagine not jurassic park or jurassic world this but something that of course just makes it clear and evident that it's related to dinosaurs and that it's associated with the jurassic park ip what that title is going to be i've seen people say jurassic planet and you know all these other things that still have jurassic in it i would hope that they take jurassic out because then at that point if you take Jurassic out, we will see, and I think we can gauge how many people are still going to go see this movie knowing that the actual title Jurassic this or Jurassic that isn't in it, but you're, they know it's still Jurassic Park, and we'll see how successful that would be at the box office. I'd love to just see them experiment with that. Not naming the next movie Jurassic anything, it's just something that's going to have to do with dinosaurs in the title, and it's going to be made very obvious during the marketing schemes that this, of course, is a Jurassic Park movie, obviously in the production as well, when they're making the movie and casting the movie, it's going to be all over the internet, it's not going to be a secret, it's going to be known that this is part of the Jurassic Park universe, and then the Jurassic Park fan base will clamor, come together, go see the movie. And I, I think it's going to be a good thing to try to test to see if you actually even need to use that title anymore. I think Jurassic Park has been so successful that you can use some you can do some variations now. Like if they wanted to call this movie Dominion or something else and not Jurassic World, I think it still would have been a success. And I hope they do that with the next one, because I, again, don't think that they're going to take any ex any like long extended breaks beyond a decade, I hope. But I feel like this movie with Dominion is going to be the conclusion of what we are getting now. And it's going to be the end of the Jurassic era, as they said. And then when they come back, they'll have an idea mapped out of where they want to go as far as exploring a world where humans and dinosaurs are, yes, now forced to live together and give us some new characters. I know I've seen people talk about the series being given over to, to uh, young Macy, who's introduced in this series. So if that happens, I mean, yeah, I can see that being explored. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. What do you think about those box office predictions for Jurassic World? Are you excited about that? What do you want to see happen after Dominion before we get our next movie in a couple of years down the road? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.